Everyone thinks about goal setting in sports the wrong way, and I'm going to tell you why. But what I want you to think about is imagine if you were trying to look through a telescope at something and you're trying to focus on it, and someone keeps tugging at your shirt. You can't really focus on it. You get distracted, you start to get frustrated, you get annoyed, you make it even get angry because you can't focus on the thing that you want to focus on. So what does that got to do with sport? So if you think about in sport, you have goals as well that you want to get to. And sport's an easy one to have goals and that's what sport's built on. It's measured. There's points, there's goals medals, there's trophies, there's money involved, um, transfer fees. So sport is measured. There's no getting away from that. So it's easy to have a goal um, that you want to score so many points, you want to score so many goals, you want to shoot so many hoops, whatever it is, or you want to run a personal best. There's always a way to find goals. The problem is you can't focus on them. Uh, it's a bit like that person that's tugging at your shirt. So why can you not focus on them? What is that person that's tugging at your shirt? Well, that's just an analogy. So what's really tugging at you? What's really distracting you? Is if you have something going on like a fear. So if, you, if you've got a fear that's... You're, you know, I fear that maybe you're not good enough. You fear rejection. Um, you fear failure. You fear being judged. That's that internal voice in your head telling you that that's the thing that's distracting you from your goal. And the, and the worst thing of all, it's coming from you. It's not even coming from outside. So your sub subconscious stores these little distractions, these fears and anxieties and they won't go away till they're dealt with so you've got to deal with them and um, other, other things that can distract you as well are those limiting beliefs um, the feeling that you're not good enough you'll never be good enough not talented enough all those limiting beliefs are again distracting you pulling at you till you kind of deal with it and face up to it um, the problem is most people don't know that's what the distractions are. They just think this is the way they're wired, this is the way they feel, this is the way they were born. Um, and they accept that. They just accept their fate. This is the way I am. I'm a little bit different. I'm a little bit weird. I'm not like everybody else. Um, and the thing is, everybody else, most people feel like that. Okay, so a lot of us are actually the same. But that doesn't help you when you're trying to reach your goals. You need to concentrate on yourself and get help for the distractions. So, so the way I like to work with people is, you know, a lot of people say set goals and then they worry about why they can't hit them. So I say the goal, first of all, is to work on the distractions. What are the things that are going to stop you from focusing on your goals first? Because when I say to people, you know, what are your goals? First of all, they usually don't have any because they've got this internal voice. Um, and then when they try to make them, it's they can't make something that's really clear or cohesive. Because um, they don't really deep down believe they can actually achieve it. So, and they don't dare to really have big ambitious goals. It's, it's good to have small goals, of course, but it's good to have a big outstanding goal um, to work towards um, something that's like really hard to achieve. So they don't really believe they can do it deep down. There's these limiting beliefs that haven't been dealt with yet, so they can't really set real goals. Um, and even if they do, they don't believe they can achieve them. So you've got to work on the distractions first. You've got to work on all, any fears, any limiting beliefs. Um, 
uh, repair any relationships that you might have as well, because they're distractions too. Um, everything that you, everything that uses your energy to think about, whether it's positive or negative, takes a ton of energy. Your brain uses a lot of energy. Um, and as a sports person, you need all the energy you can get. If you're thinking about all these um, fears and worries and stresses and anxieties and um, limiting beliefs, you're burning a lot of energy. It's leaving you exhausted. So what? And then you don't feel like you've got time to even think about things in the future. It's time consuming and you don't really believe you can do it anyway. So you've got to deal with the underlying limiting beliefs, fears that are holding you back first. And then you'll start to believe in yourself. You'll start to trust yourself. And when you do that, your team's starting to trust you, believe in you, your family believe in you, your coach, anybody that's on your side starts to believe in you and, and get behind you so that you can build momentum. When you deal with all the, the negative stuff, you've all this newfound energy, this newfound belief, then you can really get behind your goals and start to believe and put the energy into um, you know, taking action and actually working towards the goals and achieving them. Um, you know, when you're out there on the court, on the pitch, on the field, um, on the track, you can really actually achieve things and believe in yourself and, and and that'll really inspire you to go that little bit extra as well. So you've got to identify the distractions um, so that you can really focus on hitting the goals the right way. Okay, so if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me and inspires me to do more. Um, I'm Robert, Robert Anderson. Thanks for watching and talk soon.